On the fourth day of Christmas, Ben gave to you thrift flip video and a Baldry Spire calendar, shoe makeovers, and a mirror made of pipe and hot glue. Alright, let's start off by checking out this monstrosity. <sighs> These pieces are like, I don't know, like they hide the buttons and I, I don't know, it doesn't make any sense to me. And then there's this full pocket, but all those are going to be removed. I don't know, it's like, you like, how was this worn? Was it like a dress or a coat before? Look at these full pockets. Mm -mm. No, waste of time. So it's pretty much big and lifeless, but the best part about this piece is that the princess seams start at the shoulder. So we can do the, the bootleg taking like we did with the yellow two piece thrift flip that I did before. So by doing this bootleg taking, we won't have to redo the sleeves by the shoulders, but it will just fix the shoulder piece from hanging off. You get me? So I use a pin and I mark at the waist, and I use another pin and I mark how long I want the coat dress thing to be. I remove the pockets and the useless button covers. Then I drew the hemline and I cut it. Now I cut it straight across and it ended up being too short at the back but there was really no way to go around fixing it without buying red fabric because I needed the piece that was cut off to be the same length all around. So I couldn't have made the back lower than the front. I removed the underarm part of the sleeve from the bottom of the armhole to get better access to the side seam. And then I turned the dress inside out and pinned the princess seams as one piece from the back over the shoulder and down to the front. I also pinned in the side seams a bit. When pinning the princess seams, I didn't go past the waist, okay? I drew the lines where I pinned and I went to the machine and stitched it down. And then I tried it on again. At this point, I was sort of liking the open sleeve look, but I never did it before so I was still thinking about stitching the sleeves back up. I marked the waistline again and drew the lines only at the front and back side panels of the dress. On the princess seams, I seam ripped the dress up and a little bit past the line as shown. Add a seam allowance to the bottom of the line and I cut it. I kept the piece that I just cut off and I separated it at the seam. Then I took the dress to the machine again and took in the side seams again. It still needed some more cinching at the waist, so I took in the back princess seams as well. After that was sewn, I cut off the excess from the side and then I kept my pieces that I cut off before and proceeded to piece them back onto the sides. I'm making the bottoms go outwards on each seam so it flares off of the hip if that makes any sense. So instead of being tight on the hips, it will bounce out a bit. I'm constantly checking and rechecking that the top pieces fit back because if they don't, I'll be screwed.
I then pin the pieces to the dress and stitch the top of them to the bottom of the side piece and then I stitch down the side seam and then the outer seams which are the princess seams. This is how it looks now. See how the seams below the waist flare off a bit? You know, getting the gist of it, right? I'm still trying to figure out what to do about these sleeves. I decided to go down about 4.5 inches from my waist and trim off the excess. Then I folded everything under by like a quarter and pressed it. Remember the bottom of the dress that I cut off? I'm gonna press that and then I'm gonna do some pooching key folds and insert it into our cutout piece. I did three folds at the front and two at the back. I didn't have enough fabric to do knife pleats so I'm making do with what I have. I folded them and then I chucked them under the edges of the cutout and pinned them. Then I did a top edge stitch from the side seam to one side and then the side seam to the other side. This is it sewn. I did an Instagram poll on which buttons to use and the majority voted for the white buttons. I think because it said go be a hole, but yo the white buttons were nasty looking so I just mixed matched some black buttons and I think it came out fine. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get this part and, the, and I'm just going to bring this all the way in here like that, but not past the side seam. So not past the side seam so I'm going to stop it probably back there, like right behind the side seam. And then for the front here, and I'm gonna fold this in, and then I'm gonna stitch that down. But since you're gonna see this part on the inside, like here, I'm gonna do a double fold so it looks clean. So you do that double fold like that, and fold it again, and then I'm gonna stitch that down, and it's gonna look clean. And then after that, we are done, we are done being Santa Claus's mistress. Okay. So this is the back of the sleeve going into the back so I attached the back to the back and now to hide this area here we are going to scoot this on under like this like that and we're going to do like a little stitch here we're going to like further secure this probably do like a back, back stitch but I'm still trying to figure out what to do with front of the sleeve but we are going to give this a little stitch here and back stitch this so it doesn't come on loose and loose 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 oh my gosh and then we should probably like yeah and like this part here we're just going to stitch all of that right down and then we are dancing oh, going bye i was ready to ignore my boobs but you really can't and i zoomed in and you couldn't understand what's going on but this is how it looks sewn afterwards this is underarm seam that's the sleeve and we are done dun 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 yes
Let's go. Cool. 